All right, so my uh, camera shut off here on cancer. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna continue with cancer. Uh, don't forget to like this video, guys, and comment and subscribe um, and hit that bell button, okay? So I'm gonna actually just go ahead and go back to uh, cancer here. So yeah, so I was basically saying with cancers uh, to continue to finish off cancer, you know, what I, uh, lastly, what I kind of see here is you know um if you're single you know someone does want to actually commit with you like they can see themselves partnering up with you and building with you um you know as as a, as a couple there um but i do see that you know i do see it being like short-lived like short-term there like that would be like a short-term commitment like if you're single and, and entering something new here coming up uh coming up here on uh valentine's day Okay, like like soon you're gonna realize that man, like you you made a bad choice, or you may actually regret making this decision. Okay, and that's what I kind of see here. Okay, um, and I believe I did cover from the last video. I think I did cover if you were together, like if you in a relationship, then they do definitely want to make it work out. Um, they do want to make it work out, but I still do see like you know you're dealing with like the same you know arguments and things like that because this person still may be emotionally distanced from you and not really showing any feelings okay um here on valentine's day okay that's what i see all right leos all right leos oh okay leos it's, it's looking kind of good but on your side like you may be a little like your your mind or your judgment like may be a little clouded here with the highest priest in reverse you could be dealing with a uh, a fire sign or a water sign here okay but i do see somebody like is is gonna come grand like they're definitely gonna want to romance you guys leo you know they're definitely gonna want to come in and, and wine and dine me basically you know that's what i kind of see here um you know like uh if you're in a connection you know knight of cups here if you're in a connection they're definitely going to want to you know like they're thinking about basically proposing to you like you may actually get a proposal leo with this knight of cups like if you're dealing with somebody right now okay like they're definitely going to come grand like they're going to come with the whole thing they're going to take you out to eat you know they may even propose to you in public like it's gonna definitely be grand whatever it is you know take you on a romantic night you know at a very nice hotel and maybe take you out to eat you know um but you're but i do see that you may be a little hesitant towards because you know you you may be struggling between going with your logic and your intuition here from with this highest priest in reverse like i see you you know your mind being kind of clouded here not sure maybe you know what you're if you're going to actually go forward with it or not you know but basically leo's just use your intuition yeah just use your intuition you know with this person you know your intuition would definitely tell you if this is the person that you know is is that wants to uh you know that that you should marry you know and if you guys are single here um you know you you may end up going out to the bar or something you know by yourself or you know and getting some drinks here you know and somebody may come in they may they may you know think you look good you know or or, or may find you you know glamorous or you know or just very attractive like they're going to be drawn towards you like a magnet and they don't want to come in and pay for your drinks <laughs> like leo they don't want to come in and pay for your drinks and y'all gonna have a good old fun night at the bar and they're gonna want to pay for all of that and and probably pay for something to eat and y'all gonna definitely get tipsy and drunk and and then this person's probably gonna get so drunk they probably gonna want to marry you they probably gonna get on one knee right at the bar but you're gonna actually probably say no because they're too damn drunk <laughs> that's what i kind of see but overall i definitely see some type of you know long-term commitment and some type of grand romantic gesture from whoever you're dealing with or vice versa there okay uh virgos six of pentacles oh okay you could be dealing with another earth sign taurus capricorn and virgo um yeah we got two earth signs so yeah definitely someone with a lot of earth in their chart or or they're just the earth sign okay so we got six of pentacles and then nine of pentacles in reverse yeah so i see basically like like somebody's gonna come in and they're gonna want to basically spend all they dough on you like they're gonna they're gonna want to spend all they dough on you they're gonna want to take you on a shopping spree bag you buy you all the things you need you know take some burdens off you take the stress off your back like they're gonna come in like this person's gonna be very generous it's gonna be somebody who's very financially stable or so possibly somebody who's wealthy 
you know basically got a good ass job probably own their own business whatever it is but they are gonna see all the competition because you know basically virgos you're gonna be in demand like virgos you in demand right now they're gonna see their competition they're gonna be trying to knock that competition out and they're gonna break their pockets like you're gonna leave their pockets with a hole in it like a big ass hole in their pocket because they're gonna be tr so busy trying to uh 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 uh, win or commit to you through through money basically so expect for somebody to come in and spend that dough on you guys and we got nine of pentacles in reverse you know or you know i also know my virgos are workaholics so you know you could be somebody may want to show their appreciation to you at, at the job they may give you a promotion more money may come in this valentine's day or they may give you a bonus or something like that you know and that's what i kind of see Yeah, that's what I see here, you know. And then this person, you know, whether you're single or not, is definitely somebody you're dealing with that got a lot of money or somebody that's coming in and got a lot of money. But they definitely going to be jealous. They jealous because, you know, they see all your suitors. And they're going to be trying to knock your suitors out by, by buying you, basically. That's what they're going to do. So expect lots of money here on Valentine's Day, Virgos. All right, Libra. All right, night of this, okay. You could be dealing with a fire sign or earth sign. Uh, uh, Libras, okay, yeah, so Libra, like, whoever you're dealing with here, um, I kind of see it being, you know, with the Magician in reverse, the Knight of Discs in reverse, you know, I kind of see, like, you're, you're going to want to, like, like, you're still going to basically be the one putting all of your energy and money towards this person, whether it's, uh, somebody coming in from the past or somebody that you with now, but they're still going to be exhausting you of energy and money basically and you're going to be tired of it because you're not really receiving nothing back from this person you know so but this may be a person that uh, uh that come in and they want to they come in and, and they could be like bored or something like they could be bored or you could have been like their last resort so they like let, let me call libra up and see if, if she if he or she wants to go on a date for valentine's day but basically you're going to still be dealing with the same old thing like their focus is still not on you like their focus and you may actually give in libra like if you're single and actually go on a date with this person for valentine's day but their focus is still not even going to be on you like their focus is going to be you know they're probably going to be all in their, their phone or they're going to be thinking about somebody else you know and you basically going to still feel like this is just a waste of time so whether this is somebody coming in from the past or somebody that you're in a connection with now like you're going to feel like you're still wasting your money and energy and you're going to just be simply unfulfilled in this connection or connection that's coming in because you know you're not really getting anything back like they're not spending any money on you they're not really giving you their energy their focus is somewhere else you know and then this is reverse too so they're not even you know when y'all go out to eat you always gotta pay so you're gonna always you're gonna be paying libra for the date but you may do that if you're single or if you have nobody else to go on a date with so you know, I, I do see that you're going to be going out for Valentine's Day, but you're going to basically be sick and tired of being the one, you know, like I said, be the one spending your money and putting all your energy and not getting nothing back. And that's what I kind of see there. So, all right, Scorpios. All right, we got Six of Swords and Empress in Reverse. You could be dealing with the air sign, Scorpios. Um, So Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Okay, so what I kind of see is you, okay, so Scorpios, like, like somebody is, is, is trying to commit, like they're trying, they're going to be trying to like really push this, you know, connection forward, you know, like you could be in a relationship and it could like, like you could not be really fully expressing yourself or really committed to this person, or you could have been dating someone and just not committed to them yet, but they're really trying to find a way to you know commit so they could be trying to like you know i see like this person is basically been trying to like get you pregnant to get you to commit or on valentine's day like they gonna be trying to make you pregnant scorpio like to get you to actually commit like they want you and you know i also see like some type of distance here too you know like uh uh 
uh, like possibly even physically, like yeah, physically, like this person is gonna want you to move in with them. Like they may even ask you, like Scorpio, I want you to move in with me, you know, or or come to whatever state you know that they're in, like to get this thing commit. But I seen that this thing is really still having a hard time actually coming to some type of commitment. Like Scorpio, I still see you know you being hesitant towards some type of commitment. That's what I kind of see here. I don't really see it, you know, actually still moving forward on Valentine's Day. Um, but this person is really like, you know, trying to get it to move forward here. Yeah. And that's what I kind of see. Like, or you could be dealing with someone that still hasn't chose you like this person still. And that's what I see. Like, you know, it hasn't been able to get off the ground because it could be you or the other person. Like someone hasn't let go of someone else. So this connection still cannot get off of the ground. That's what I kind of see. You know, so if you guys are not physically, um, if you guys do live physically close together, it still hasn't been able to be like a full commitment. Like they haven't been able to fully, still cannot full, fully commit to you, Scorpio, even if they do spend time with you on Valentine's Day because they still haven't let somebody else go. So I still see it being like at the same thing. But I do see someone trying to make someone else pregnant though to get them to stay and they want them to move. If it is a physical distance. Yeah, and that's what I kind of, that's what I kind of see there.